What's up dudes, hold fast here again, and today we're playing Escape Craft 2. So if you were uh, paying attention a couple days ago, we played Escape Craft 1, uh, part 1 and part 2, and there's actually three of these maps, so this is uh, this is part 2 actually, which is pretty cool. It's again one of the highest uh, played adventure maps that uh, is out there. Um, and as, as usual, I'll leave all the... Uh, the download links and all that kind of stuff down in the description if you want to check it out. And I highly recommend it. Ooh, stuff. Alright, so, again, we're stuck. Um, yeah, we're stuck and we have to escape. <laughs> That's basically it. Welcome to Escape, escape Craft 2. Just a couple of things. Don't punch any blocks or items except for dirt. Alright, so I can break dirt. Due to the new spawn mechanics, this game is intended to be played on peaceful except at certain times. This means set difficulty to easy... This means set the difficulty to peaceful. So let's just make sure. So let's start with with that. Make sure that. Yep. Done. Perfect. Oh man, there is a motorcycle outside of my house that is starting up and driving away and being a really loud jerk. All right. So and now there's a dog barking away. That's cool. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. Now step through and enjoy the game. Okay, whoa! Is there anything in here? I gotta check everything because you never know. Never know. Ooh, it's a nice little bed. Nice little room. Good, you're awake. We have a big day planned. You have been chosen to participate in a little research project. Now you should kindly, you would kindly head into the next room. Okay. Uh, sure, I will do that. Since you asked so nicely, um, this reminds me a lot of Portal. If you guys have ever played Portal, this is pretty much how it starts. And I'm just gonna just gonna peek around all the corners just so I don't miss anything. Under construction. All right. To proceed to the next room, you must first <laughs> euthanize the previous test subject. Please pull the lever and retreat to a safe distance, because I care about you. Um, so I have, if you guys don't know what euthanize, ooh, cobblestone stick, euthanize basically just means kill them. I guess that's subject 1089. Mm, so it goes from a pig to me, so let's, I don't mind since it's a pig. <laughs> that's, uh, poor piggy, is there any meat? No, there's no meat. Alright, let's keep going. You didn't do it, did you? There was another way. Oh, Lord, you killed him, didn't you? He had a family. You're a monster. How can you live with yourself? He had a name, you know. I don't remember, but he did. You could have just gone back to your cell. Now he's dead. Maybe you'll see him soon. Oh, pressure. Oh, that. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm in. The following challenges are intended to test your cognitive abilities and survival skills. For the purposes of this test, lava is bad. Well, isn't lava always bad? I don't like lava. Oh, man. So, sometimes chests under lava. Sometimes, but not this time. So we got some water, which is good, just in case I fall in. I wonder if I can go up. No, that... Uh, let's go. No, that's not gonna happen. Anything? De Ooh, yep. That actually, I'm gonna die. So I gotta get out of the water first. Come on, get out. There we go. That's a furnace. Dirt. That doesn't help me get across because there's a lot of room left. Hmm. Hmm. What do I have? Dirt. Cobblestone. Well, sticks not gonna help me. I can get three, but I can't pick them up after a go, so that's not going to get me very far. Crap. What? There's nothing else down here. No, there's nothing. There's nothing up. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, that, okay. That seemed to have worked. <laughs> I didn't even mean to place those blocks there, but I want to pick up oh, stupid freaking water. I want to get that other block. Go down. Thank you. Now up. That's cool. All right. Well, that that works. No, 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 no. 
Oh my gosh. I clearly jumped. Clearly, I clearly jumped. That was not fun. Another ooh, diamond leggings. I could have used those five seconds ago. All right, well, let's just do the same thing. Pick up my dirt. And let's not fall in this time. Sweet. Is there anything else? Well, I'm just going to get pushed in, aren't I? There's a buton. Perfect. Nice. Goodbye, lava. Please be no more lava. Impressive. Maybe 1090 is the, is the lucky number. Oh, I killed 1089. Of course, I thought that about 1089. Until you murdered him. Hmm. Gravel and iron. Perfect. Cool, cool, let's keep on going. Oh, whoa. This is all sand? Is that sand? Yeah. Or is that... No, is that wool? I think that might be wool. No. No, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just looking around, just looking for... Furnaces or something. I don't see anything. I don't think I can... See, if I place gravel, it's going to fall. So I'd have to keep it at the bottom. I don't think this is high enough. Uh, just barely. <laughs> Shouldn't have placed this. Alright. Let's dig it up. Dig, 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 diggy, diggy, dig. Come on, there we go. Give me gravel. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, let's see. What can I do? Does this make anything? No, it doesn't make anything. Iron, nothing. These guys make anything? No, that sucks. Stick. Stick and gravel? No. I think I'm just wasting time. There's gotta be something else. Hmm. Let's have a look around. Is there another? I don't see any anything. Did I miss something? Oh. Alright, so let's keep on keep looking around. I don't know how... Not sure. Hmm. Alright, so... I think... What I'm thinking... Yeah, this is wool. I can't break it, but that's wool. I think I'm gonna place this down and hope I get flint. <sighs> flint. No. Flint. No. Alright, after trying dozens of times, I finally got some flint. Oh my gosh, that took way too long. Let's make flint and steel, and if I'm correct, that this is wool, sorry, yeah. there, mm. maybe, I don't see anything happening, if I just light everything on fire, is it, oh, oh no, whoa, what the heck just happened? What is that? That's cool. I, okay, sure. That, <laughs> that works. I'm not gonna complain. I guess lighting fire did work. Very good. You're performing better than 15% of previous test subjects. The next room will test your short, short term memory. Oh, news. Alright, mm, let's go. Any furnaces? Yep. More pants. Perfect. 
What was the number of the last test subject? You know, the one you blew into tiny pieces with no provocation and cold blood? Jerk. Um, the last... Oh, that was a little... Many flints ago. 10... 1089, because I'm 1090. 1089. Yes! Good memory. Nice. Very proud of myself. Excellent. You show no sign of memory loss due to... Hold on. Do... Just starting my timer again. Due to brain damage or traumatic suppression brought on by remorse, your lack of concern for other life form is admirable and bodes well for future tests. Perfect. Let's keep on going then. Oh, oh that's a lot of TNT. Uh, Alright. You've had a hard day. Have a drink. Oh, and this room will explode soon, so find the exit. A bucket. I don't... No, I want to get water. Oh, balls. This doesn't look... Boom, boom. Probably no boom. Boom, boom. Great. Let's go look upstairs, see if there's anything cool. Hopefully there's something cool. No, there... Oh, what's this say? Don't worry. In the event you activate the explosives, this room will only suffer minor cosmetic damage. Perfect. But you will probably be very dead. In the meantime, enjoy this little game I made for you. I worked really hard on it. Oh no. I think I have to pour the water down a certain spot and have it bounce around. Bounce around. But I think we're going to have to save that for next episode.